Hey, hey, what's up? Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the Home of the Money Minute. Chad here, and I'm here to talk to you about, you guessed it, cell phone protection. Now, I've done a Money Minute about cell phone protection before, but now I want to go into five of the best ways to get cell phone protection via credit card. But in addition to all of that, you got to understand that all cell phone protections aren't created equal. So we're going to run through a few and we're going to see which one is best for you, which one you may want, which one you may already have. Because a lot of people will have multiple cards that will have overlapping cell phone insurance. And if you don't know to use it, you may find out now. And then also, if you have multiple cards, you can find out which one may actually have the best protection for your phone. Now, if all of that sounds good, please hit that like button. Please share. And if you're here and you're watching, you're not subscribed, we'd appreciate the subscription. And last but not least, I always got to emphasize it. I need those comments. I'd love the interaction. Let me know what your thoughts are and let me know what you're thinking. All right. The first way to get cell phone protection via credit card is actually a group of cards in which almost every card in a lineup has cell phone protection. And that's the Wells Fargo stable of cards. Now, that includes the autograph card, which is brand new, which is pretty much a catch-all in and of itself, given all the multipliers that it comes with, the Wells Fargo Active Cash, and then also there is the built World Elite MasterCard by Wells Fargo. Now, the other cashback cards, aside from the built, give you $600 per claim with a $25 deductible and a maximum of two claims per, per year, pretty much two claims in a 12-month period. That's the maximum for a rolling 12 months. Now the built card is actually a cut above the rest of the Wells Fargo lineup as the maximum claim per claim is $800 with a maximum of two claims in a year and a deductible of the same $25. Now moving on to our second route is yet another group of cards from a common issuer and that is American Express. In order to get cell phone protection, that's gonna come from certain American Express cards. And those cards are the MX Platinum in all of its flavors, both personal and business, the black card, of course, both personal and business, and the co-branded Delta Platinum Sky Miles card, both personal and business, and also the co-branded Delta Sky Miles Reserve card in both personal and business. Now, because Amex is the issuer and they are the bank, it's pretty much going to be the same coverage for all of these cards. And that coverage is $800 maximum per claim with a max of two claims in a 12 month period with a $50 deductible. So you're getting something, you know, and all of these cards do have annual fees. Now, let me mention that the Wells Fargo cards, none of them have annual fees, but the Amex cards, the ones that I just named, have, actually have annual fees ranging from $250 to $695, so that's also food for thought. Now for number three, we actually have just one card, and it's a card that a lot of people are familiar with, that's very famous, that people really like, that I, once I'm done gardening, and I'm under 524, I definitely wanna grab, and that's the Chase Freedom Flex. This is another no annual fee card, very famous card, very a part of the Chase Trifecta. Now its insurance is different, whereas you have a maximum claim amount per claim of $800, but in a 12 month period, you can only max out at $1,000 worth of claims and the deductible is $50. And for our fourth avenue of cell phone protection, that will be another card from the Chase Stable. And that is gonna be the Chase Inc. Preferred. Now this is a business card and it does have an annual fee. It carries a $95 annual fee and the Chase Inc. Preferred, if you watch my other videos about mid-tier cards, is what I'm going to call, it, it falls into the business category, and it's also a gateway card that will allow people to pull their UR points. But without going too far off tangent, to be honest with you, this offers some of the best credit card protection for cell phones, period, that I have found. Now, per Chase's website, Per claim, the maximum claim value is actually $1,000 with three claims max per year with a $100 deductible. 
that is absolutely fantastic, especially compared with all the other options that we have. But we still actually have one more option that we're gonna get to. Now, okay, this definitely isn't one from the credit card, but it's definitely a barometer to show you what we're comparing against. And that's actually a cell phone protection, which comes from the cell phone carrier. So technically it's not a credit card protection, but I just wanna give you something to compare it to. Now, carrier cell phone insurance actually is way better than credit card insurance because A, it's primary, B, it's not supplemental, meaning that most credit card insurances don't even kick in until everyone else has gotten their taste. And in some cases they can be voided. If for instance, your cell phone is stolen and another insurance, if it's stolen within a rental car and you have primary rental insurance and the primary rental insurance somehow manages to cover the cost of your cell phone, you don't then get to double dip and use your cell phone insurance included in your card. Now with that being said, carry your cell phone insurance can actually go, it can range anywhere from 10 to $20 per month. Now the reason a lot of people use credit cards is because normally, especially if you have a no annual fee card, it's included. That just saves you every month. If you have a card with an annual fee, you know, it's great because you can still use it because that's, it's a part of something that you're paying anyway. So you can save money. But carrier insurance is actually way more robust than credit card insurance and they have much higher maximum claims. They'll let you claim more times in the year and they will actually pay for things and malfunctions that credit card insurances don't pay for. Now, I'm not gonna go through all of them because you know Verizon has their flavor, AT&T has their flavor, T-Mobile has their flavor, but just understand, they're just better on average. Now, your deductibles may be higher and they can go anywhere from 50 to, in some cases, almost $300, but considering that the average cell phone is well over $1,000 and we all know what it's like. You go in and they want to hit you with all these installment plans and they want to keep you on that hamster wheel forever and a day because they want to secure the cost of these cell phones and they're not cheap. So, you know, you kind of got to do the balancing act. They can offer you more because they're going to get their money out of you every month. If you have a cell phone protection plan from your credit card, yeah, okay, it may not cover the cost of your entire phone that may have been stolen or what have you, but it definitely will give you a considerable credit if you gotta go out and get another one. On top of that, it's already a part of a card that you may be paying an annual fee for. On top of that, it's even better if it's a part of a card that you're not even paying a fee for anyway. So those are my five avenues to cell phone protection. I just want to go over that. So let me know, do you have a card that I didn't mention here? Do you have one of the cards that are on the list? Do you have multiple cards on the list? Has this let you know, hey, I might need to use another card instead of the one that I'm using now. Now, also you need to realize that in order for these cell phone protections to work, you have to be paying the bill in its entirety with that credit card. And especially if you need to make a claim most, if not all of these carriers, all of these issuers will require that the previous month's bill, in addition to the current month's bill, has been paid with the card that you're using to file a claim on. It's very important. So don't just switch your auto pay after you lose your phone and say, hey, I wanna use the insurance. That's gonna be a no bueno because they're gonna ask for statements if they don't already look them up. So I just wanted to give you those pointers. Just open your eyes to you know cell phone protection. Now, mind you, it's not the only reason to get a card, but it definitely sometimes can influence what people do, especially people with multiple cards and how they structure the way they pay things. But I'm not gonna hold you any longer. I thank you so much if you made it to the end of this video. And if you did, drop me a cell phone emoji just so I know who's still with me. Now I'm gonna go ahead and give you a playlist and a video here. So if, if you want to, you can check out the Money Minute that I did on it and see what other credit card videos I have. Once again, thank you so much for coming, and I'll see you later. Peace.